October 31st. Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. Isaiah 41. There are those who lamps of Christian profession will not go out when the Lord appears. They are his own chosen, redeemed, and called people. Their light, by reason of manifold infirmities, may often have burned, but dimly through life. But there is vital religion in the soul, the golden precious oil of grace flowing from Jesus into their hearts, and this can never be extinguished. Many were the hostile influences against which their weak grace had to contend. Many were the trials of their feeble faith, but the light never quite went out. The waves of sorrow threatened to extinguish it. The floods of inbred evil threatened to extinguish it. The cold blast of adversity threatened to extinguish it. And the stumbling of the walk, the inconsistency of the heart, and the declension of the soul, often for a while weakened and obscured it. But there it is, living, burning, and brightening, as inextinguishable and as deathless as the source from where it came. The grace of God in the heart is as imperishable, and the life of God in the soul is as immortal as God himself. The light of knowledge enkindled in the mind, and of love glowing in the heart, and of holiness shining in the life, will burn in the upper temple in increasing effulgence of glory through eternity. The divine light of Christian profession, which holy grief for sin has enkindled, which love to God has enkindled, which the end being of the Holy Spirit has enkindled, will outshine and outlive the sun in the firmament of heaven. That sun shall be extinguished, those stars shall fall, and that moon shall be turned into blood. But the feeblest spark of grace in the soul shall live forever. The Lord watches his own work with sleepless vigilance. When the vessel is exhausted, he stands by and replenishes it. When the light burns dimly, He is near to revive it. When the cold winds blow rudely and the rough waves swell high, he is riding upon those winds and walking upon those waves to protect this, the spark of his own kindling. The light that is in you is light flowing from Jesus, the fountain of light. And can an infinite fountain be exhausted? When the sun is extinguished, then all the lesser lights deriving their faint effulence from him will be extinguished too, but not until then. Who is it that has often fanned the smoking flax? Even he who will never quench the faintest spark of living light in the soul, you will light my candle. And if the Lord light it, what power can put it out? Is not his soul the sunshine of your soul? Is he not himself your morning star? Is it not in his light that you see light, even the light of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ? O then, arise and shine, for your light is come, and the glory of the Lord is risen upon you.